trailer of vibrators overturned on a freeway. An armada of very brave women appeared to help clean things up because that's what women are all about, helping their communities and stuff. A new poll shows that Republicans and Democrats are tied for control of Congress going into the midterms. Both sides responded with, they're trying to kill America. Yep, them, right over there. Now, earlier this year, it looked like Republicans were headed for an easy victory. So how'd they blow it? Well, first they pissed off women, which I do not recommend. Not ever. Then they got some real winner candidates like Dr. Tequila Crudite Oz, Herschel on Done With Trees Walker, and has anybody seen J.D. Vance? And the process of endorsing these lovely candidates has looked a little something like this. He is kissing my ass. He wants my supports up. I'm 18 points up. So if you don't like him, why should I? And finally, there's fundraising. If one guy knew how to share, then the GOP might be in better shape. But as of now, it looks like we might get another half and half split that deadlocks everything for two more years. So I'm going to go do a couple rails of Xanax and spend four hours looking at puppies on Instagram. In a shockingly unprecedented move, Donald, the check is in the mail Trump's new lawyer demanded a $3 million fee up front. That alone makes Chris Kai's Trump's least dumb lawyer. For maximum efficiency, we'd like to suggest that since Mr. Kais took on Trump as a client, let's go ahead and get the Bar Association to file the paperwork for his inevitable disbarment. All right, we've got some breaking news on Donald Trump's numerous legal battles. A judge has handed a huge win to the DOJ. Oh gosh, okay, this just in. Trump's former accounting firm has handed over his financial records to Congress to see if he's violated the emoluments clause. Oh dear. Okay, so now it looks like E. Jean Carroll is suing the former president under a new law that, oh. Oh, okay, looks like now the New York Attorney General is suing Trump and his children for fraud and, oh no, not again. Okay, looks like he tried to steal dinosaur embryos so he could make a Jurassic Park in his backyard. Allegedly killed Jimmy Hoffa, wow. No, keep him coming, I'm good. I've been training for this. Tried to sell Eric to the Saudis, which is considered human trafficking. My mouth is so dry. Can I get some water? We all have that one family member who loves a good conspiracy theory and is just the worst. Well, good news. That bar just got raised. Lowered? I don't know. There's a lot of really bad people out there. Lately, conspiracy theorists have been calling in bomb threats to the Boston Children's Hospital. Why? Something, something, anti-trans, something, I don't know, it's hard to follow. Now, why don't you go ahead and call up Uncle Facebook is research and find that common ground, because at least he's not children's hospital bomb threat nuts. And speaking of our favorite conspiracy theories, so far QAnon has been right about everything. And by that, I mean they have been very, very, very far to the right about everything. Their latest prediction involves episode nine, season 24 of The Simpsons, which correlates to September 24th, 924, get it? On that day, which is tomorrow, QAnon followers believe that 10 days of darkness will start and end with Trump as president. As much as we'd love to have 10 days of darkness to cool things down here in Texas, the current statistical likelihood of any of that happening is 0.0000%. Oh, so that's just zero. Vladimir Putin has called up 300,000 reservists to fight in Ukraine, leading brave Russians everywhere to hop on one-way flights out of the country to uh, visit their aunt in a country with no extradition treaty. Also, two Russian cosmonauts and an American astronaut are headed to space together. Can you imagine how awkward that astronaut must feel? So, uh, what's new with you guys? You got a uh, good borscht recipe? My house? Yeah, we can stop by my house on the way back. You wanna stay there indefinitely? Interpol has issued a red notice for South Korean entrepreneur Do Kwon, claiming he is on the run after his crypto company imploded. Kwon responded, <laughs> I'm not on the run, okay? I'm just traveling very rapidly between several countries while wearing a wig and a fake mustache and holding onto a friend's passport for safekeeping. Is that illegal now? At his last game, Tom Brady broke a tablet and got in a fight. The outburst came during reports that he's taking Wednesdays off to go to marriage counseling. Apparently telling someone, I'd rather risk brain damage from a 230 pound lineman than hang out with you is somehow bad for your marriage? The FDA is asking consumers not to cook chicken in NyQuil after a recent TikTok challenge. Whatever happened to the good old TikTok challenges? Back in my day, we hiked two miles uphill in the snow to eat a Tide Pod and we liked it because it built character. 
A group of medical experts said everyone under the age of 65 should be screened for anxiety. Luckily, the screening is very quick because there's only one question. Are you alive and paying attention to the world around you? Congratulations, you have anxiety. Syphilis cases in the U.S. are up 26% this year. So if you've been slutting around in an unsafe manner, go ahead and put some clean wrap on your business already. Clean wrap is not for use in sexy time vaginal penetration scenarios, but it's just fine for butt stuff. Your past performance in bed may not be indicative of future results. The Phoenix News Network and its many affiliates assume no responsibility for anything, anywhere, at any time, for any reason. A woman is going to prison for faking her kidnapping to get back together with her ex. And it's no surprise if you know her, a friend said they once asked her for a guacamole recipe and she replied, First, you need a Venezuelan passport and enough money for bribes. A growing number of U.S. men are undergoing expensive surgery to add three to six inches to their height using a procedure that causes excruciating pain. And you can't walk normally for months afterwards. So welcome to childbirth, fellas. Officials are asking residents of the Northeast to stop killing lanternflies with flamethrowers. One official commented, after all, this isn't a gender reveal party. And finally tonight, Mariah Carey might be releasing a secret grudge album from the 90s. No thanks. I'm holding out for Korn's Barbershop Quartet album. That wraps up this week's episode of the Friday Phoenix. Don't forget to subscribe. Is it hot in here? So hot. You can't fire me. I quit. Okay, I'm back. I'm unquitting. I don't want water. I want booze. When can I take a break? 57 more. Deep breaths. Deeper. Deeper. You shouldn't ask humans to do this. We are not built for this. No, no, I'm okay. I'm just declassifying some documents.